Uh, I gotta look at the end of the Oh, George. Oh, uh, you're gonna love this guy. You don't have to move the mic to your face. It's probably weird, but uh, show you love. It's very funny, George Gaffney. <laughs> Greetings, audience. So I'm a black man. <laughs> Did you know that one in every eight black men my age are in prison? That's true, one in every eight black men in jail. Now that is a sobering statistic that really motivates me to change how we relate to each other as a society. Not enough to get me to stop robbing old ladies for drug money. <laughs> that's just a party, and once that's in there, you know, come to terms with that. <laughs> But there's just something about this whole earning money system that we've adopted that just goes right over my Negro head. <laughs> that and this strange white man's obsession with raising his own kids. <laughs> just because you make them don't mean you have to take them, white man. She'll be fine by herself. Personally, I think it's a little condescending and very degrading to think that you have to be involved in the whole child rearing process. I mean, come on. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> you know I'm right. Some people say I'm lazy, but I'm not lazy. I reject that. I just figured that after 300 years of forced slavery, labor, and subservience, I'm entitled to a little me time. <laughs> Take back. Put the feet up. Got a problem with that? <laughs> I mean, there are reminders of slavery all around us every day. Like Aunt Jemima. <laughs> Aunt Jemima. I can't even have breakfast without being put in my place. Aunt Jemima? No, I know she's all cool now. She's got the makeover. She's got the straight hair, the thin face, the uh, intelligent expression. How come when I was a kid, Aunt Jemima was a fat mammy just like straight out of Gone with the Wind? <laughs> with a red handkerchief covering her nappy afro. I remember. But she has come a long way. Aunt Jemima's come a long way. The first Aunt Jemima, she was on the box getting raped by a plantation owner. <laughs> enough to make you push you off your, your pancakes. But they're good pancakes. <laughs> so you look the other way. <laughs> Is it me, or does Dick Cheney look like a refugee villain from a James Bond movie? <laughs> Didn't Roger Moore torch this guy in Moonraker or something? <laughs> no, think about it, think about it. He's got his own secret underground bunker. He's got a robot heart that ticks forever. He's got a clear and articulated strategy for global domination. All he needs is a monocle and a cat, that's it. <laughs> Are you telling me Dick Cheney doesn't have a trap door in front of his desk? Come on. <laughs> the man has an 18% approval rating. 18%. And that's in his own country. <laughs> Listen, if four out of five people hate you in the only country where people like you, you are scientifically proven to be shit. <laughs> <laughs> this man could run for president in a few years. Now, I have to dig deep to figure out who the Democrats have to nominate that could lose an election to Dick Cheney at this point. They would have to really dig deep, but I think they can find him. They'd have to find him like, like a gay terrorist. <laughs> a Jihadi Richard Simmons or something that just loves actors. <laughs> but no matter who gets the nomination, they will be smeared. I don't look forward to it. They will be smeared by the Republicans. It's gonna be awful. No matter who they run, doesn't matter who they run. The Democrats could run Christ for president and he'd be smeared by the Republicans. No, seriously. Jesus Christ could descend from heaven, register as a Democrat, run for president, and the words, we've got to go negative on Jesus, will be heard from the White House. <laughs> How do you go negative on Jesus? Well, he is Jewish, so strike one. <laughs> Plus, everybody, let's all be honest, he's a lot more dark-skinned than we thought he was going to be. <laughs> Sorry. That whole 
skin of bronze, hair like lamb wool, ain't pulling so hot in the heart one. <laughs> and he's soft on terrorism. You know, I can see the attack as now. On September 11th, our country was attacked by an enemy, unprovoked. Is it really time to turn the other cheek? <laughs> But um, I tell you what, it's a sad day when I got to turn on CNN and look at Jesus Christ and not he's a flip-flopper. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody.